Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Burton Burger Podcast. This is episode 12, and I am one of your hosts, Burger, and with me today, as always, the one, the only, my beautiful, sexy, gorgeous cousin, Bert. How are we doing today, mm-hmm. Bert? Mm-hmm. I'm doing good. Doing real good. Yeah. Good, 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 good. So... Oh, this quarantine shit's starting to make me go a little stir crazy. If you can't fucking tell, I want to <laughs> go outside. I know. Yeah, I just got some survey. I woke up to about the hometown, or well, not my hometown. The what the fuck? The town that my college is in, sending me a survey about like, oh, what do you like about our town, or what would you think would be nice to change about our town? And they're like, how how often do you like to go out to restaurants? You know, how often do you like to, whatever, go out shopping and all that? And I'm just slowly thinking about it. I'm like, you know, that does sound kind of fun. <laughs> you know, like it sounds fucking, fucking amazing. Fucking it. <laughs> yeah, I would do anything at this point. Usually I don't go out too often, but I do mm-hmm. kind of miss it every once in a while. Yeah, I mean, for your town specifically, you should say like, Oh, what would I do? Dif- what would I do to change this town? Probably drop a fucking nuke on it and start <laughs> fresh because it's such a <laughs> shithole there. Yeah, it's kind of gross. There's just like, I mean, because it's a college town. I that's the way I think of it. There's like, there's maybe twenty bars and no other restaurants. Like they have a McDonald's and a Burger King and a Taco Bell, mm-hmm. but other than that, it's. Like, literally all bars. Well, I'd it's, be careful about saying which restaurants are there, especially those ones that could give away where where we're from. I think Burger King McDonald's is pretty big. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I agree. But, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. It just it just kind of looks like a, like a shithole, and then there's just this kind of big, beautiful college in there, so. I know. It's weird. Uh, they definitely have their priorities straight. But, yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for tuning in to episode... 12 this is our 12th week of doing this isn't 12th like i feel is that is a it, is quarter that, of a year or something yeah i was about to say isn't that some kind of number <laughs> with a year i don't know <laughs> i have no idea but uh yeah things are things are going good here at the burton burger show um we have recently made the transition over to spotify and other um podcast hosting websites so um, we, we had some struggles with that where Bert thought we needed to hire Saul Goodman and, um, start, uh, doing some LLC work, but, uh, we ended up reaching out to some people and we got some help. So you want to kind of tell them how the podcast on those websites are doing there, Bert? Oh yeah. Um, so we ended up deciding to go with Anchor. Um, it's been pretty nice. I've just been uploading all of our our episodes this week and ended up putting all the description notes over from YouTube and all that and it's been pretty nice. It automatically uploads it to Spotify, I know for sure. Mm-hmm. I've definitely seen it on there. But there's some other weird weird ones I've never even heard of. There's like Breaker and Porn and some other weird I think one ones. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. It's like, yeah, your podcast is up in six places. I'm like, well, shit, I didn't ask for that, but I suppose. Uh, and that's I'll take how it. our identity gets stolen. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, it's been really, it's been nice. A whole fuck of a lot easier than uh, turning the podcast into a licensed company. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Yeah, no, that'll happen soon enough. But um, for the time being. Um, we we went with Anchor and Anchor is apparently it's free. I mean, Bert's the yeah. one that put his social security in there, so it's free yeah. for me at least. So, um, <laughs> um, so and it, it ends up doing a lot of nice services for us. Like we were gonna, we were actually getting ready to pay for some service, and then we stumbled across this one, and it works on your phone and it works on the computer. So mm-hmm. when Bert's out. Mm-hmm doing his very famous gay porn shoots he can take a peek at the 
uh, podcast on Anchor on his phone. See how she's doing. See how we're oh. doing. But speaking of gay porn, holy shit, that last episode for some reason <laughs> took off so fucking hard for us. I can't believe it. Like I uploaded it, and then a couple hours later, it like was <laughs> yeah. almost, like it had more views than all of the other fucking videos except our first one. Oh, it was insane. Yeah, no, I I saw it because you know when I had to go rip the episode to put it on the Spotify and all that. It's like it said this had like twenty five, twenty six viewers or something like that. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it was uploaded on the same day and everything. Yeah, it was insane. I'm thinking we're gonna stop telling people the statistics and we're just gonna say there's a lot of views because <laughs> when you say like there was like 26 viewers on there, we were so happy and I'm like, it was yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna say yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Well, I just I and I think it's because of the gay porn. So I think we're just gonna for the next like twelve episodes it's gonna <laughs> be gay, that. gay, gay porn. Like that's all we're gonna exactly. say. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, no, we're uh, we're the the channel's slowly growing, slowly growing. But um, mm-hmm. we're about where we want to be with it. I mean, it um, we'll 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 keep uh, keep on putting out content. So if you can, um. Tell your homies about it. Tell your moms and grandmas about it. That would be great. If you guys actually know Bert and myself, um, you can go ahead and share this. Just make sure, hey, that's so-and-so, and and check out. I just heard this was a good podcast. Yeah, yeah. Just be like, this is a podcast I've been checking out. Um, Listen to it, you know, and spread the love and... um, We'll we'll keep if they sound the familiar, don't mention it. Yeah, they're like, yeah, I have, I have sure. no idea. Um, that Bert guy kind of sounds like a bitch, but um, <laughs> exactly. that's all I thought. But yeah, I mean, we just want to keep making this, and um, I think a big goal for us right now is to get a big enough audience to where we could move over to Twitch and start streaming some stuff together. So. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I, we just think that would be a lot of fun and we've always w- wanted to have a little audience like that, um, to check yeah, us nice out. Nice little community. Yeah. And we can talk yeah. with you guys directly. We would love to do that. And, uh, we might have to make a mixer and a Twitch account, unfortunately, because <laughs> I'm on my cute little Mac here and, uh, she can't run very well. So she runs just about as good as my uh, mile time, so <laughs> she runs pretty terribly. Is what I'm saying. Um, when yeah. it comes to video games, I'll I'll start playing Balloons Tower Defense in class, and it sounds like the fucker's gonna catch on fire. So, um, <laughs> old jet we, engine. Yeah, we we could definitely do some stuff, um, on on Twitch, real basic stuff, but like Mixer and stuff. We'll do a lot of stuff over there, and you guys can watch me play my rat game and, um. Mm. You can love Frank. You can watch Bert and I fucking tear it up on Warzone and um, shit like that. So um, I know we're going out of order a little bit here with our recording notes, but I think this oh, is a, yeah. I think this is a good transition though to uh, uh, video games that we've been playing because this um, this fucking uh, quarantine's really locking us in. <laughs> so we've been playing. oh yeah shitloads of video games what have you been uh what have you been doing with your homies and everything oh um, you know path of exile of course i mean I, I usually just turn on some uh you know some twitch and just grind away <laughs> it's it's kind of nice because now i can't really feel too bad about not being productive because I, I mean, there isn't very much you can really do mm-hmm MMOs and all that have really been crazy. Yeah. I've just noticed with, like, everybody. Just big things you can just sink way too much time into. You know, yeah. do you think Sieves is an M- MMO? Because we just sink a lot of time <laughs> into that. It's probably a little bit close. May- maybe not. It's massively multiplayer, not quite. However, it has been feeling that way lately. Mm-hmm. Fucking assholes always raiding our ship and blowing it up when we're trying to do missions and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think we can talk about Sea of Thieves here for, for a second 
because we've been playing mm-hmm. it a lot. But Bert and I have been playing this excellent game for the Xbox and PC called Sea of Thieves, and it's really cool for those of you who don't, don't know what it is. It's just this big open world game, but but it's like a pirate open world, and you do a lot of sailing the seas. You got this big ship, and you got to control it. And there's all this teamwork that goes into sailing this big cocksucker. And you got to go from island to island, and and you can bury up treasure, and you can fight other people, and things like that. You know, real big nine incher stuff here. Um, and um, oh yeah, Bert and I have been doing that a lot. We've been doing these things called Telltales or Tall Tales. Telltale is. A video game company. Video game company, yeah. Um, we've been doing these things called Tall Tales where it's this one story mission, but they're so fucking complex and deep and have so much to it, and it's been taking us a really long time for it. So, uh, Oh, yeah. Basically, it started out where we had to find this totem where it had four stones on it, and it gave you these magical powers to see where this island is yeah. um, that is like full of gold or some shit like that and oh, yeah. we found the totem after about six days for looking for it and um, <laughs> turns out the four stones are missing so we had to go do these four separate missions um, to get those stones back and then yeah. um, we just finished the last mission yesterday and we thought we could kind of go right into the gold but then they were like nope there's actually three more missions you have to do so it was about 12 30 in the morning last night and we were like i don't think it's a good idea to start these things start one of these right now because i no i didn't want to be up until five (laughs) yeah no these things can take like three to four hours to do one mission there is so much big brain and thinking and looking at small details and figuring out puzzles and shit like that it's really good for my survivor stuff that i'm training for but Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, Bert and I have been doing that on Sea of Thieves, and then uh, our buddy Tater has been doing them with us, too. He's our captain, so Captain Tater. He's the one that steers the ship. He steers us out of um, danger, danger for the most part, or directly into it, as he's yeah. been doing lately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been doing a lot better lately, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, he, it took him a little bit to get used to, and then um, our good buddy, he got it too. So after I told him after we finish up this tall tale, we'd love to have a four-man crew and have him join us for the next tall tale. So, oh yeah, um, and then we can have the four of us on the ship, and we can all jam to some music together and um, <laughs> yes. fight the fucking crack. And you need to watch those like twelve videos that I sent you because. We really choked yesterday when that oh my god kraken so blew our bad. ships to cock. So we were just sailing all of a sudden. The fucking kraken comes out of nowhere, right? This big octopus looking thing, <laughs> and um, it's it, it's it's sucking us off the the ship and, and 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 everything. And we have this thing that cannot be destroyed. And what was that thing that couldn't be destroyed? Do you want to describe to our viewers what it was? Oh, a gigantic fucking gunpowder keg. That uh, we have, yep. we basically had a nuke underneath the, the fucking ship. <laughs> yep. Like, oh so, God, no. Yep. So she was just chilling in the bottom of the ship while this fucking kraken's just gang banging us, and she she brings the ship down, and we're like, oh no, we got to restart this mission, and Tater <laughs> yeah. and Bird are going down in the ocean trying to find the ship, and. It was blacker than black, couldn't see cock and everything, and all of a sudden it just floated up out of the water. I, oh, shit, oh, I see was... the barrel, and I grabbed it and just started kicking my little legs over to the nearest island that was like 15 miles away. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was just downstairs playing tic-tac-toe with Dewey, our little monkey, and, <laughs> you know, I start hearing the fucking <laughs> the Beethoven's Fifth come on and <laughs> fucking crack and ravaged us yeah yeah so So we go over there i mean i go to the island and bert and tater get sucked into the ship (laughs) because there's like this mermaid thing that'll take you back to your ship but i couldn't go to the mermaid because it would destroy the keg so 
Mm-hmm. Uh, they get on the ship and they come towards the island that I'm on, and it takes them a good like 20 minutes to get to where I'm at. And for some reason, Bert just decides to leave Tater in the middle of Hurricane Katrina out on the seas, and yeah. I had to take a pee. Yeah, and I, I, it was a <laughs> long piss too, um, <laughs> because I just look over and I see I see Tater coming with a ship and our little gay pride flag at the top, <laughs> and uh, it's starting to tip to the side and. Somehow, Tater, uh, Tater sunk the fucking Managed. ship by himself. I know. I got back, and my character is just gasping for air. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jesus. Gasping what is for going air. On, uh? Tater was shoving his cock in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> choking on something. I didn't know yeah. what was going on. Yeah. No, so it, it ended up being a real long mission, and we finished it last night, and um, we got through it. And um, that one was tough. That was a tough one, but we got that one was it. bad. One thing, if I can critique anything on Sea of Thieves, they would never tell you what to fucking do. Never, ever tell you no. what to fucking do when. Because I started playing this game with 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 Tater, and him and I were playing it for a long time just (laughs) and then randomly we invited you and then me and you started playing it a lot and and everything so but when tater and i started you they didn't even like give you a tutorial they just load you into the tavern and they're like good fucking luck (laughs) dude (laughs) don't even tell you how to pull your ship up they don't tell you how to do anything they're not like all right you want to Lower the sails and raise the anchor, and you want to angle the sails with the wind. And when you turn it here, that means it's all the way turned, and this is center. And they didn't tell you, Dick, nothing. So we had to figure this shit out all on our own. I had to go back to seventh grade history to think, I think when we sail a fucking pirate ship, this is what we're supposed to do. (laughs) So, and then they did that again when we finished the... uh, the when we found the forest stone, they just didn't tell yeah, you that's right. anything. We thought we beat it. We're like, there's no way that's it. Yeah, yeah. No, we just turned the mission in, and it's like, okay. And they're like, all right, congrats, What's going you on beat here? it. Yeah, they didn't even tell <laughs> yeah. you anything. We thought there was gonna be fireworks. We thought there was gonna be all this cool shit and stuff. And yeah, no, nothing, nothing happened after we turned in the fourth and final stone. We even went back to the guy that told us about the totem in the first place, and he didn't say anything. He, we walk up to him, he's like, sup? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're an eager traveler. It's like, yeah. yeah. I've only been around the whole map three times. Yeah, he just fucking threw up a gang sign, and we're like, oh, well, shit. So <laughs> this is the same piece <laughs> yeah. of shit. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, I I would say that's the biggest critique. They don't tell you how to do dick. So, yeah. um, it's uh, kind of cool. I mean, like from a weird figured out perspective, but at the same time, it's not super fun. Well, they they at least know. need to like guide you and say like something. You know what I mean? Like at least when you do all four fucking things, at least tell us. Yeah. Oh, all stones are found. Go to this spot now. Like I was even wondering, did shit? Did we? Did we do all four? <laughs> yeah, because it just it yeah. Because it felt like some of them they didn't even give us one. Yeah, I thought for one of them it, we didn't even get one. One of them we got two stones. It's like what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, no. So I I don't fucking know what's what's happening with that. But we've been playing a lot of a lot of sieves as we call it. Bert likes to come up with Gatav and Gao and all these mm. weird fun BB and <laughs> all <laughs> yeah. these weird names for things because he gets too. I want to say he gets lazy, but he's just fucking stupid. So, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's always fun. so we deal with that. But yeah, we'll probably be. Uh, we might be taking a break from Sieves here. I kind of want to take a breather from it so I don't get fucking <laughs> yeah. sick of it because we played it like for like. Eight hours, I think, the past couple of days or more, ten hours. Probably, maybe. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, but I mean, I'd love to play Warzone more, but we've been having a lot of troubles. All three of us have been having troubles with the with the internet and stuff. The internet has been really weird. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been 
it's been crazy. So and uh, we we hopped on um, GTA yesterday, and there was just really nothing, nothing going on there. No cool updates or anything. So we'll have to find no. something. I I really want to get back into Wildlands. Like that's something I really really want to play. Yeah, I felt like I saw Tater on there yesterday. Yeah, he 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 bought Breakpoint, so I told him that's oh, what he should that's get. What that was. Yeah, I told him he yeah. should get that because me and you are gonna move over to Breakpoint as soon as we beat Wildlands. So yeah, um, but Wildlands is back at my college, and we are not allowed on campus. So oh no, yeah, I know. Damn. So. That means this is an excellent time for you, Bert, to get all caught up with that <laughs> shit so we can beat this game oh, at God. the same fucking time. Yeah. I suppose it is. Yeah. I mean, I know you're not going to do it, so. <laughs> Probably not. You really no. should, though, because I, I know for, you know for a fact you're going to hate, we're going to do something, and you're not, like, I'm going to beat it, yeah. and you're not, so. Yeah. That'll be rough. <laughs> For your own sanity, you better uh, you better start working on that. So I know we can uh, we can beat that up. But but yeah, no, we've been playing uh, a lot of video games. What else have you uh, been up to during all of this crazy shit going on? Well, um, my mom has been. Well, my mom has a twin sister you know so my my aunt it would be mm-hmm. is always over at my house and yeah they're always bored trying to find stuff to entertain us and the kids and everything or themselves and the kids i suppose i don't really need any help entertaining myself at this point um, I mean, you got a willy and you got pose so you're all set <laughs> exactly <laughs> yes lifetime of entertainment yeah, exactly but <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yesterday, they decided that it would be a good idea to make uh, paper mache bunnies out of like fucking uh, uh, Snapple paper bottles. Yeah, paper mache. But like, you usually put the paper mache like over stuff, right? Oh, okay. So yep. they taped a balloon to the top of a Snapple bottle. And we had to do, like, ten of them yesterday. Did you guys, like, blow okay. the balloon up, or? Yeah, yeah. They were, like, little little tiny balloons and everything. So, it like, it has a shape of a bunny. That was the idea, at least. Okay. And then my mom just brings over a huge vat of, um, hmm, of this nasty papier-mâché substance. And I was trying desperately the entire time. Because uh, me and my little brother were working on it to uh, to not make jokes about how it looked like. Um, uh, hmm, how do I how do I <laughs> eloquently say this? Uh-huh. It looked like a huge bowl of nut. Let's say a huge bowl of nut. Yes, and it was warm, right? And you had to dip your fucking hands in it your and lather in it these strips of newspaper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lather these strips of newspaper up. And make and like just, uh, just cover these fucking Snapple bottles in this nasty, nut soaked uh, paper. <laughs> this nasty nut. I like that. Yeah, I was sick. I was trying so hard not to do it because there were little kids at the table and everything. I'm like, oh fuck. Would you really <laughs> oh, fuck. say to your ma, "Hey ma, this looks like a big bowl of cum"? Yeah, <laughs> no. There was so fucking much, dude. There were like three big popcorn bowl sized fucking bowls on the table. Are you I'm like, sure this it looks... wasn't hot? <laughs> I don't actually know. It's Haven't possible. You said your mom's been depriving your dad lately, and <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah. Save a buck or two on paper mache. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a while. Maybe that's what he's been doing. He's recovering from all that nut. <laughs> yeah. Balls are hanging exactly. down to his ankles. Yeah, yeah. So that shit was pretty sick. And then the uh, the quote unquote paper mache bunnies look more like I I don't even know what they look like. They look pretty fucking look pretty fucking retarded. <laughs> it's just a big and and it's also made out of glass. I'm like, mom, what happens when 
one of the kids like drop this on the floor and their fucking bunny literally explodes. I'm like what 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 exactly? So is traumatized. The fucking plan here. Yeah, and there's this broken glass everywhere, blood. And it just start and it it's just like, shows fuck. the fucking paper mache so it looks like the bunny came before it fucking died. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh my god. Um, yeah, no, it's truly a thing of nightmares. Yeah. Yeah. So too bad you don't have any pictures fucking, you can show us. Yeah, I know. I could actually probably go take some. It just uh, Yeah. We, I'll do that. That's that's Bert for you. He's just uh <laughs> thinking of great podcast material but you know isn't yeah. isn't isn't thinking about our viewers at all. So that's probably why we're <laughs> no. doing so shitty with everything. But yeah, yeah. um yeah, no. Um, your 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 mom and everybody they've always been into really goofy looking crafts kind of shit. So yeah, yeah. But I guess you know if it keeps them from bitching, I'll I'll do whatever they need. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nothing for for certain. Well, um, yeah. I mean, my mom's just been working and shit. Um, she works at a pharmacy, so uh. She's essential worker, so she's gonna bring yeah. Corona home and kill her whole family. So this is, this is what I think's gonna <laughs> yeah. happen. Yeah. So I, I, I fucking yeah, that'll hate be fun. that. And my my fucking grandma, um, she she took her truck into some guy to get it fixed, and the guy was like talking to my grandma about. Like these symptoms that he was feeling. Oh and dear God! All that shit and all this really fucking weird stuff and and everything. And I'm like, Grandma, fucking leave the truck there. Just leave it there. Don't yes. don't fucking go get don't it. Don't need Seriously. it that bad. You don't need it. And she's like, Why? I I need my truck and blah blah. blah. All that old timer shit. You know how old people get. And uh, oh yeah, she ended up getting it. And it's just sitting in her fucking uh, her driveway right now, doing nothing. And I'm like, great, <laughs> we just have a fucking truck full of Corona outside, just killing all your animals. You see, a tiger got it. What the a fuck? Fucking tiger got Corona. Damn. Yeah. Have, uh, I don't even know what kind of a bad joke I can make about this. Yeah. Somehow a fucking tiger got Corona. <laughs> Yeah. Poor tiger. Fuck. But none of us are safe. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. No, we're all God. fucked. But speaking <laughs> of animals, see what I did there? Pretty. Oh God. Smooth, huh? <laughs> smooth. Smooth. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, uh, back on video games, you know, just because. <laughs> That's probably going to be what we talk about for a little bit here. Back to um, video games. I don't really know why, but everybody has been super huge on this whole Animal Crossings game. You heard anything about it? Oh, yeah. Everybody's talking about it. There's so yeah. many memes on it's like, funny from it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like the first game that's came out since the whole uh, coronavirus. So, um... Yeah, yeah, there's been memes and all that. Of their mind. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's it's another one of those weird kind of um. I don't even know what you'd call it alternate life games. You know, you just kind of have your little dude, and you get to go around a little island and make a fancy house and a little village. Kind of like The and... Sims, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty similar. I mean, I've never played The Sims, so I have no fucking idea, but I assume so. Yeah, it's like a but, simulated yeah. life kind of thing. Yeah, I only know them from uh, from Smash. So, oh my god, I I totally forgot about that. Yeah, my little villager, Bert the has died to the villagers fucking tree so many times. <laughs> I love the part where he looks exactly like your brother. The <laughs> <laughs> same name, like God damn, not again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The haircut and everything. It's hilarious. Yeah. 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 That's what you should so, do for uh, Halloween. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. But I ended up picking up the game just because I'm like, I, I don't really know. I'm just trying to overwhelm myself, I guess. I have so many fucking things on my plate. 
You're trying to just Not drown well. yourself in an alternate reality so you don't have to deal with. Exactly. Boy, that was Fucking some big shit. brain shit. That was like my big brain finding the eagle on that one. That was the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> on that one Sea of Thieves thing, but. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even. But yeah. You didn't even tell me you got it. I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I've, I, I brought it up last night, right? But then, like, I think Tater ended up saying something like, Phew. Didn't want these guys to think I was gay or nothing, so I didn't bring it up again. <laughs> yeah, you kind of like, I remember I <laughs> did that one time. Oh, my gosh, it's so embarrassing. I had this pretty cool friend at my bachelor's level college that I went to, or undergrad, I guess it's called. And he was like a okay. pretty, like he looked like one of those like popular people, I guess. I don't fucking know, but. Okay. Him and I were RAs together in the same neighborhood, and since I did RA stuff longer than him, he kind of talked to me and shit like that uh, for help. So him and I would hang out, and I was like, I finally got a fucking cool friend. This is nice. And it is nice. I have, yeah, I have one or two. Yeah, I was, <laughs> it just, it just, I just felt so cool and everything, mm-hmm. and. Uh, he uh he would invite me out to dinner with him sometimes where him and I would just go get some food and shit and it was like you know real nice and I had so much fun with it and then um yeah, this sounds super fucking gay but anyways um <laughs> yeah. I remember I like I went home or something and he asked me like when we were coming back from um Chipotle he was like so did you do anything dope back home or something like that and i'm like no nah, i just hung out with the family and stuff like that one was just chilling with my brother and shit and everything He's like oh that's dope and stuff and i'm like yeah no we saw the new power rangers movie it's actually pretty good <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh my gosh and he just didn't say anything after that and yeah we just stopped nice. hanging out after that Oof. yeah oh my god yeah that is so awesome i I didn't even mean it to be like, it's just kind of like when Charlie goes and sees a movie for the moist meter. He'll watch anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, he watches it for like the review and, and shit like that. And he, he, he you know, when, when, he, I don't know, like, I, I guess I listen to the official podcast too much because they'll sit there and talk about how they watch just the fucking, like how Andrew really wants to fuck the bunny from Zootopia. And they're like, okay, okay. I mean, that's yeah. completely normal. So I guess oh, I just yeah. I was just kind of going in with that kind of mindset, and so I just thought of it as a movie, and I was like, okay, here's this kids movie that is like really bad, and I'm watching it with my brother, and it, and it actually turned out to be a pretty decent movie, and I was trying to tell him that, and yeah, he was uh he was not having that, not we having that. We <laughs> literally never hung out again after that. I don't think. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, no. So that's probably how you kind of felt with the whole rough with with the uh, fucking um, animal, animal crossing. crossing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, that was that Pretty was much. tough. Yeah. Lost a good friend that day. <laughs> yeah. Such a fucking co- like. I've been thinking about that recently. I'm like, that was such a stupid thing to say. <laughs> Like if, yeah. if I was like, you just you gotta be careful, I guess who you who you fucking talk to <laughs> about that kind of <laughs> shit. I don't yeah I don't know, but but yeah no I mean Animal Crossing I mean it looks cool and stuff like that. That's it's really oh, boring yeah. to watch, but I'm I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. I bought my yeah ex- no it's not too bad. I bought my ex girlfriend The Sims, and. Her and I played that a lot, so I guess maybe in that kind of sense it would be fun. Or, like, I could probably play it with my sister or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it might be cool to, uh... I mean, I just figured it'd be something nice to play while I'm editing the podcast or watching yep. a TV show or something like that, you know. Just an easy-going little, you know... Yeah. A little easy-going background game. Which yeah. is what it's really turning out to be. Yeah, and I, 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 I love games that are like that. I have this game on my phone called Idle Capitalist. <laughs> okay. And basically yeah. all you do is make money. 
<laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, and like it's it's very big on the whole AFK thing. So like you'll come back and you'll have oh, yeah. like six hundred trillion dollars and shit like <laughs> that. Are so fun. It, yeah, it's one of those things that you buy businesses and they're constantly like making money for you and things like that. And I love having that open when I'm like doing homework or or something and. Oh like, yeah, just like a little secondary thing to. Just to keep you entertained. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. a lot. There is so much like watch this ad for two times bonus or something like that. So I always watch ads. Oh, yeah. So I'll just hit play and then I'll go do homework watch. for five minutes and I'll come back and it's, uh, yeah, I have way more money. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely oh, yeah. like having those kind of background things going on. So it, it feels like you're doing multiple things at once and you, uh, mm-hmm. you feel more nice accomplished. Productive. Yeah. You feel like you're actually doing something. So, <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, maybe, maybe not. I was doing that while, uh, while we were on the podcast here, but yeah. yeah. Anyways. Um, so I know last week you wanted to talk about this a little bit, but, um, we didn't get around to it, but you, you mentioned that, uh, you've been having a bit of a hard time getting used to your new phone. Oh, yes. I ended up getting the new um, Samsung Galaxy S20 um, because I had my, my upgrade for my, my phone was coming up, so I ended up just, uh, you know, upgrading as I do. And um, it is very weird, to say the least. There's no home button, which I know most phones are really going that way. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no fucking... The worst part. I usually, like, my brother likes to stay up really late. And so I listen to music while I go to bed. You know, I just lay down, plug a headphone in. I got featured again. Stupid ass. You shitting me? (laughs) He got featured again. Holy shit. (laughs) The actual fuck. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. Was it another one from Nam? Uh, it was another fact. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I literally just opened up my phone and saw that. <laughs> nice. Holy shit! Dang. Wow. I this fact was so stupid too. I didn't even get it. I don't think. Let me read it to you. Wow! I got fucking featured again. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Yeah, I did not mean to interrupt your amazing story. No, wow. No, that's cool. That fucking came out of nowhere. I uploaded that so last that six night. now? That's six, yeah. I uploaded that 16 hours ago, yeah. It says, in 1947, Thor Hairdahl, don't know how to say his last name, a Noreen adventurer and scientist, sailed 5,000 miles across the Pacific in a hand-built raft known as the Contiki Expedition, to prove Damn. the agents could have accomplished this too. Okay, I get it now, now that I sat down and, <laughs> and, actually and read, read it. it. Wow. Nice. That's fucking amazing. Okay. Wow. Okay. Holy shit, I'm so amazed right now. <laughs> Has the like spacing between features sped up at all? Uh, Yeah, I've I've gotten featured like four times this year. I got featured once in 2018, once in 2019, and now four this year. That's my fourth one in the past couple of months. Okay. Holy fucking shit. That is amazing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you have to see how many more subs you get off of it. Yeah. Gosh, that's insane. Yeah, no, I, I can't believe this, and it's it's cool because my um, what the fuck? Um, sorry, my uh, my there profile says uh, my cover photo is no, honey, I'm not the king. Christ is the king. I'm just a singer. Elvis Presley said that, and then <laughs> you got my cute little what the fuck below it <laughs> from the what nice. the fuck fun facts. Yeah. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That is insane. Yeah, we're at six. Damn. Six fucking features. Gosh. 
and I've had this account for about six years now. So that's um, that's insane. I am just amazed at that. Um, yeah, no, I apologize. Well, Continue. Oh yes, Your brother yes. listens to shitty but, music. Or no, uh, you no, listen to he, shitty music while you sleep. Exactly, exactly. Yes, and mm, I almost said his name. Uh, my little brother. <laughs> Don't um, expose that bitch. <laughs> likes to <laughs> likes to talk to people on Omegle until six o'clock in the morning and oh uh, scream at them and shit. So, um, yeah, no, I have to uh, listen to music, and I just went out and bought a nice new pair of uh, earbuds, and I uh, looked at the bottom of my old phone here, and uh, the cocksucker doesn't have a goddamn. Headphone jack. Oh yeah, you need to like the new iPhone. Flat one, yeah. Yup. So that was cool. Gotta go get yourself a dongle, my homie. <laughs> I almost said something yeah. else. <laughs> I got. <laughs> yup. <laughs> so <laughs> I've I've bought more shit online since. Well, I guess it would make sense. Since the stupid coronavirus thing. Of course, that's how this shit spreads, you piece of shit. It's fucking people like you (laughs) making them go (laughs) out in the real world to deliver your fucking big-ass dildo. Trying to get them... Keeping them... Keeping them getting paid, baby. While you talk about this, I'm going to look at wireless headsets because I'm getting ready to fucking eat my headset from my Xbox. I'm so sick of that piece of shit. I know. I don't know what's up with you guys, like you and Tater, but mm-hmm. like I get into the call. Well, I guess mine's actually been acting up lately too. But all of our headsets <laughs> are so fucked. We can't figure out which one of you guys. I mean, I, I thought it was him. That's like mm-hmm. get, making us all echo. Like, yeah, it definitely. Me and Tater were just trying to talk to each other last night, and then like I would say something, and then. The ghost of me would say something. He would say something. His ghost would say something. Yep. It's like, settle down, guys. Yep. It's fucking... It's so yep. Annoying. No, it's always his... It's it's, 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 his, it's his headset. And I, I just got used to it. I figured you were used to it by now, but you brought yeah. it up yesterday, and I'm like, oh, boy, here we fucking go. It was, it was so bad <laughs> when you left. It was like there were four people in the call. It was insane. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. So we um, did you? I forgot if we ever ended up talking about your headset. No, I mean and your mic. I, I guess we can. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I guess we can kind of go through that. That was probably the, pretty much the end of your uh, your story. Yeah. No, that was like the biggest part. And then I went and got some screen protector, and it's like. It's getting fur all over my phone from, like, the inside of my pockets. I don't yeah. know why there's fur. Oh, it's because I'm only wearing pajamas. That's right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. Nice. Anyways. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, no, that's all. So, I have this fucking headset. This fucking thing has given me so <laughs> many fucking problems. I don't remember the brand. It's like ADP or or something like that. I just saw it on Amazon here. It's not um, the Afterglow one, is it? <laughs> it is Afterglow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, what's this on here? PDP. I don't know where I got an A out of that entire fucking thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. The PDP cool. Xbox One Afterglow. Do not buy these headphones, everybody. Holy shit, they are so bad. My fucking grandma got me this wireless headphones for Christmas because I I wanted that wireless headset for my Xbox. <laughs> and she got me these, and I was so fucking happy. So happy. I was like, fine, I got wireless headset because my cat likes to play with the fucking wire when it um hangs from my for my oh yeah m- microphone or my whatever you want to call it. But yeah, anyways, um it I uh she got me this headset and immediately they don't work. Like I think I opened them on Christmas and tried to work it and the microphone just wasn't picking up anything. And I'm like, oh, 
this is cool. This is fucking <laughs> yes. nice. And it turns out I'm pretty sure I'm the one that, that broke the microphone. I think the microphone was fine, but I fucking broke it, but I didn't tell them that. But um, Oh, no, no. Because the microphone sticks straight out. Like, imagine putting a it pen. It is so dumb. Yeah, imagine putting a pen on your on your headset. Like you just just glue it to it. You know how that pen's gonna stick straight out in front of you. That's <laughs> yeah. how the mic was. If you, I would try to bend the bend the microphone to my mouth, but it wouldn't bend like a C, like the letter C. Like it wouldn't bend in that direction. Yeah. It would just move the whole fucking thing over, <laughs> yeah. and it would just jump back in place. So imagine when you have a nice hard on, right, and you stretch her to the side and you let go of it, and it bounces right back in the place. <laughs> yeah. That's what was happening with this fucking microphone. Eventually, I think the thing snapped, but I don't know what happened. It just stopped working. So I I reached out to these guys and I, I through their customer chat, and I was like, "Yo, this uh, headset don't work." And they're like, "Okay." Oh, yeah. So they just sent me uh, a new headset. That's good. Oh and yes, yep. I told them I was like I I just think the microphone doesn't work because the lights and everything on the headset works. I can hear through the headset. I just can't talk. So if you guys could send me a new microphone, that'd be great. And like, okay, here's a new headset. It's like oh, not gonna. Well, I guess not gonna struggle at all. Sounds kind of rapey, but um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no resistance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna let them shove it in my ass, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, but yeah, they uh, they sent me a new headset, and this time I don't bend the freaking microphone like you know, like yeah. I I don't know what you bend, but like uh, <laughs> yeah, I I, I, I I'm whatever just that thing to blank. is, yeah, whatever bends real easy, like a soft cock, I guess. Um, anyways, yeah. um. I, but you and our good buddy and Taylor always said, what? I can't hear you. Oh, you're so quiet, huh? I can't hear you. What? What'd you say? Oh, you're cutting out. What? And it was driving me insane. <laughs> so I went and bought new microphones. I bought two of them because I still had that old headset that had the broken microphone, but the headset worked fine. Uh -huh. And um, so I bought two microphones, and they were too big. I, I, I thought microphones oh, all can yes. Like in the same size, so yeah, yep. So I will, um, I you know went and bitched to Amazon and everything, and they refunded me and they said, yeah, you can just keep them. That's fine. <laughs> what the fuck? So, um, they were they weren't very expensive, but yeah. Um, anyways, okay. me and you were playing Xbox, and it was like right when you got in the party too. When I was at college. Uh -huh. And I said something, you're like, oh, you're cutting out. And I, I just took the headset off and threw it at the fucking wall. Like, I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even listen to you finish that sentence. I just took off the fucking headset and whipped it right at the goddamn wall. That is so awesome. And, I, yep, of course, I broke them, too. So I went and reached out yeah. to this company, sent them a picture. I'm like, your headsets are shitty. They break easily. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, they're like, all right, we'll send you another one, but this is the last one. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, because you didn't have, like, a receipt or some shit. They're like, oh, boy. No, no. They I gave me, know. like, different reasons because I did provide a receipt through the first one, and they said that okay. I wasn't provi I didn't provide a receipt last time, which I did. I have proof that I did. But uh, then they told me that since they – they were like, well, since we didn't tell you that uh, this would be the last one, um, we'll give you it one more time. But do know this is the last. Like, they said it like three separate times that they're not sending me another one. That's good. Um, yeah, no, they were. that. I'm like, dude, you're going to single-handedly bankrupt this fucking company. Yeah. Seriously. So, hilarious. so they sent me another one. And I, I will say their customer support has been really good. I, I will say that about this company. But their fucking products are so terrible that they just need to throw in the towel here. The headset's real comfy, and it has great sound in it. But also the volume is inverted, 
So like I can control my chat volume oh. and the gameplay mm-hmm. volume, but the knobs go in different directions. Like if you want to turn up your chat volume, you go up. If you want to turn it down, you go down. But if you want to turn up gameplay, you have to go down. And if you want to turn it down, you got to go up. Like it's just really yeah, stupid shit weird. like that. And then lately, um, it it I guess it's it beeps when you're like when the signals uh, interrupted between the Xbox and the headset. Um, okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, lately it's just been beeping like fucking crazy. Oh, okay. So that's what that was. Yeah. I remember you talked about that. Yeah. It's just, I just, I, I remember I was just sitting there and all of a sudden it was just beeping like a fire alarm. <laughs> So I so calmly awesome. turned it off and put my wired headset in, and that one sucks because every time I bump the sti- the the thing in the remote, it it cuts me out for like five seconds. So Tater and Bert just wait patiently for everything to settle down yeah. and. <laughs> um, deep breaths. Yeah, yeah. No. So at the end, I just. I don't want this fucking headset anymore. I found this sweet red and black Turtle Beach one right now. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into this. This looks pretty dope, but we'll see. Um, okay. But yeah, no, I'm. I, I'd like wireless, but wireless is kind of out of Daddy's price range right now, especially with no work because of Corona. So. <laughs> yeah. So, bitch. Yeah, no. So, yeah, that was kind of a. Yeah. We weren't even planning on talking about that, but. You know. <laughs> it was so good, though. It was like I, I don't even know how many months worth of. Worth of the shit that we were going through. <laughs> oh yeah, well I got it on Christmas, and that was in December, and now it's April, so like almost four months or whatever, three months, four months. You <laughs> yeah. Know. No, that's crazy. Yeah, no. Um I don't know. I mean, I got I got some stuff I can talk about to to kind of start to wrap things up here, but um I finished I ended up finishing the ring with my brother and uh I had okay. a, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um had an awesome 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 story behind it and it didn't have a lot of scary parts, but when they did have scary parts, they were pretty fucking creepy. So, um, that was really nice. I thought, I thought that movie was supposed to be way spookier. See, that's what I thought too. Like I, w- I went into it so terrified. I was expecting it to be like <laughs> so fucking scary. And when it, is it like more of a thriller? I mean, I mean, when you see the, the scenes, it's definitely horror. Like when, when, the scenes that like I when they had scary parts in it, they were pretty fucking scary, is what I'm getting at. Okay, yeah, but yeah. there weren't that many of those of those scenes. Like that's it's got the iconic scene where the girl crawls out of the TV and and shit like that. Yeah. So, um, that was in here, and um, it was it was pretty fucking spooky. So they have. Um, a second ring out there um, with the same like main actress and her son. So my brother and I will probably watch that one eventually. But yeah. um, it was it was really good. So I I watched a video after. My brother gives me so much shit for this because I always read about these movies when I'm done because there's always loose ends that I need tied up. So I go like to oh, yeah. Wikipedia plot page and <laughs> read about it. But yeah. um, so I found out that the ring and the grudge are two different things. I thought they were like, like the grudge was like the Japanese version of the ring or some shit like that. Yeah. But it's not that at all. So the ring and the grudge both derive from Japanese culture. Oh, like a... Okay. Uh, okay, and, that and makes sense. The ring was made first, so the ring was based off of a book that like some Japanese psychologist wrote, and 
Okay. He based the girl that walks out of the fucking TV off of a real person. So, <laughs> holy <wonderful>. shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Perfect. Um, perfect. Uh, but it was more because the movie was about a little girl that had powers. I uh, there's a sp- specific word for it, but powers to burn things onto surfaces like so she's thinking of something she can burn it into like a desk or something like that oh so like she can just make a big cock on a desk you know but um cool cool. um or the prankster yeah i mean the big thing was putting those images in other other people's minds though so like she would burn images in their mind and make them go fucking crazy and shit like that and they were really spooky things kind of cool um yeah, no, it's really interesting, but um, pretty gay power too, if you ask me. But you know, I I think flying's cool, but you do you. Useful. Um. Yeah. But, and he was like interviewing the psychologist was like interviewing some girls, and he they said they had that power, and he believed them. So, I think that's about as far as the true based on a true person kind of things goes. So. Okay. But yeah, so he made a book, or he wrote a book, and then they made a the, the so the Japanese guy made a book, and then Japanese movie company made a movie on it, and then the Americans made an American version on that movie, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And then the Grudge was inspired, like the creator of the Grudge was inspired by the Ring, which happened to also be a Japanese guy, so. Then they made the grudge, um, and like they made a grudge movie in Japan, and then of course America made an American version of yeah, that horror movie as well. So, yeah, no, they're two totally, totally different things. And um, what I have read in the comments is because they did like a ring versus the grudge thing like okay. which one was better and a lot of people in the comments were saying the ring has a way better story but the grudge is way scarier so yeah i think that i was thinking of the grudge yeah the grudge is way more horror based i think yeah they're both they're both super super horror movies but the 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 grudge has more scariness to it i guess I don't okay. know. It the ring wasn't like platform or something where it said it was a horror movie and it just ended up being really yeah. fucking disgusting or saw or it says it's a it's a horror movie but it's fucking, you know what I mean? Like when I think of horror movies yeah. I think of like yeah. it or the exorcism or the conjuring or things like that. I, I don't think of a moving elevator through the prison that has no yeah. horror to yeah. it. So the grudge the grudge is definitely horror. It's, I wouldn't put it in the same platform as platform. <laughs> I'm so sick of talking about that fucking movie. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, the the ring is actually, like, it actually is spookier, I guess. The ring has that little, like, thing that makes the clicker noises from uh, The Last of Us. Okay. Yeah, that, that little fucker where they, like, look under the blanket and it's on top of them underneath the blanket. So... <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, no, it's it's spooky. So, um, they actually made a Ring versus the Grudge movie, and I was trying to watch like the highlights of the Ring and the Grudge fighting each other, and uh, I, I ended up. It was this morning when I tried watching it, and I ended up having to turn that off <laughs> because little Japanese <laughs> girls were watching it, and they just kept screaming, and I'm like, this sounds like porn. <laughs> it was the stupidest yeah. thing. It was these Japanese girls like standing in the corner just watching these things duke it out and they were just standing there screaming. <laughs> like the, it wasn't even going after them. They were just standing there screaming at it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, everybody outside that's listening to this is going to think I'm watching porn, so I I stopped it. <laughs> I even went down to the oh, comments man. and somebody said, "Yeah, this sounds like a fucking Japanese porno." So <laughs> So yeah, no. Um, no. Uh, my brother and I kind of took a break from the horror movies. He started watching Toy Story four. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, I asked my brother. I was like, "All right, let's watch Spooky." He's like, "Can't we watch like Toy Story or something? Like, can we take a break? Because we saw Eli too. That other 
um, Netflix movie. We watched that with my family, oh, yeah. and that ended up being a huge satanic movie, and I was not expecting that. So my mom and little sister <laughs> ended up watching that with us too, and I'm like, yeah, nope, They're sorry, guys. Times. This is not what I thought was going to happen. It was just stupid. It was stupid. Yeah. Um, that movie's nothing to write home about, so I won't talk too much about that one. But, yeah, no, my brother and I will jump into some more spookers here, and uh, we'll talk about them. But, yeah, The Ring was the ring was cool. really good, really, really, really good. So um, Yeah, and back when the movie theater, well, back when, whatever, when the movie theater's back up, we'll have to, uh, to watch some. Yeah, no, we, we definitely can start doing that now. Um, and real quick, one more thing touch up on the ring the ring was made in 2002 so the the tape the famous tape where you watch it and you get killed in seven days was on literally a vcr tape and Mm. so that's where technology was in 2002 so um that's kind of cool yeah so like she the girl like worked in this big like journalism thing like news newsroom or something so And they had computers that were, like, the size of fucking people (laughs) (laughs) to, like, edit these videotapes and the film and stuff like that. And the whole entire movie was raining. And it was just, like, one of those, like, early 2000, late 90s nostalgia movies feel to it. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, The Matrix had that, too. Like, the first Matrix, at least. It was just real, like, you could tell it was real 90s, early 2000s kind of vibe going on with it. I really, uh, I really enjoyed that um, environment. Like movies always have like a feel to when they're made. Like yeah. if you watch like a nineteen eighties buddy cop movie, you can definitely tell <laughs> just by tell looking that, at yeah. it. Yeah, like when it was made and stuff like that. So um, I really enjoy the movies that have that. And it's always fucking raining in these movies. It's always raining, like downpouring. There's probably rain. some <laughs> secret behind why that is yeah i don't know but it's always downpouring rain i think it rained like the entire time of the fucking ring it was crazy um it was raining cats and dogs out there so um nice but yeah no um we'll watch another spooker soon and uh i'll be sure to uh talk about that with you guys so i could probably do a non-critical eye with with the ring but um kind of kind of past that yeah I'm, i'm like 16 years too late on that one so oh yeah yeah no she's a little late yeah <laughs> yeah so anyways wrapping up uh i know me and you've been locked inside a lot um can't really go anywhere movie theaters closed gyms closed restaurants closed everything's closed right now so what have you been oh, doing yeah. to uh stay in shape here bert oh gosh i've um you're right that's been... i didn't think you would ask that's why this episode is brought to you by <laughs> yeah yeah Bert was about One to shit the, his pants dude there's so many ads that are on for like weird self you know preservation at the at home good old good old I don't even know what like, the fuck I'm trying to say home Holy workouts shit. kind of shit or home workouts yeah there you go yeah, yeah. I, I basically only do push ups and I try and hang off the ceiling every once in a while yeah what do your push ups look like again Oh yeah, I uh, I cross. Well, okay, I, I uh, I'm on my knees. Of I course, cross my right, fingers. Like usual. Dip them in sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then I just uh, you know cross my ankles and put them behind my uh, my buttocks and uh, have the knees on the ground and I I have to do little <laughs> kid push-ups because I am I am a husky gentleman. <laughs> let's say. I don't think husky. Yeah. Like I don't think you're husky or anything like that. I just think um, you have hardly out worked out like in your life. <laughs> you didn't play any sports. <laughs> you never played outside really. The only time you did it was when you were standing there shooting shit. Um, yeah. So Jeez, I think. Fun. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think that's where it's that comes more. from. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh. Uh-uh. Okay. So. Uh, so, uh, um, but yeah, yeah, just push ups for me. What about, uh, what about you? <laughs> Bert's doing knee push ups and I'm over here squatting cars and shit, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, my brother and I have been doing this like this 30 day workout thing where, um, yeah, one, uh, one 30 day workout is for push ups and one's for abs and stuff. And I'm not trying to get like a six pack or anything because that's long gone. 
Um, <laughs> I, I'm a pretty thick person. I wouldn't say fat, um, but pretty no. pretty thick, pretty wide, pretty broad shoulders kind of person. And six packs just don't really exist in my type. It's not unless in you're cards. Like, yeah, unless like you're in the NFL or some shit. Yeah. Um, I just had the commissioner text me. Do you think the American culture does a disservice for Elvis? Sorry. Um, that was random. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. I should text him like two seconds after. Yup. Um, yeah. anyways, um, 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 yeah. So six pack is yeah, your workout. Yeah. Six packs is, is, is just not going to happen. Um, so I'm just trying to get like a stronger core and, you know, things like that. So, um, my brother and I have been doing that and it starts off real simple. Like you do four sets of push ups, and it's two. So you do two, take a break, two, take a break. And then it increasingly gets up. Like last night I just did 10, 15, 10, 15. So okay. each day your, your push ups and your, your abs stuff goes up. Um, push ups have been pretty good. Like they'll make you do like a heavy day. And then the very next day it'll be a lighter day. So they go back and forth. Abs is pretty stupid. You literally just add five sets to everything every day. Yikes. That's, okay. I could see that get in bed. Yeah. No, like and the ab workout is crunches, leg lifts and a plank. And the, you, you start off with like 10 crunches or something like that. And like you end with like a hundred and sixty, and then okay. leg lifts like end with like eighty, and then you have to do like a like a almost like a two and a half three minute plank. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, yeah, no, I can only do like thirty second plank. Yeah, no, uh, I I ended <laughs> up having something. to cut back on the plank because. It was just getting way too difficult. I'm I'm at a minute, and it was like, okay, now a minute five, and now a minute ten, and I'm like, ah, a minute's about as far as I can go. Um, yeah. But the the curls and the leg lifts, like, I don't mind because you can take breaks or you can break them up into sets. But a plank, okay. you can't you can't really do that. It's like, okay, we need to do a two-minute plank. It's not like you can do one minute, take a break, one minute, take a break. Like, planks don't really work that way. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you would still be working out the same muscles, but it wouldn't be as much of a – as going straight for two minutes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I just cut back on the on the planks, but um, that's, that's what my brother and I have, have been doing, so – um, and that's okay. the, 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 the workouts end up getting pretty pants shittingly bad though, I will say. <laughs> so, okay. um, but I want to wrap up this episode with one last story because I just okay. brought up shitting my pants and, oh boy, here we go. So my uncle is Scott. So <laughs> my family shits their pants yes. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My grandpa does, Scott does, mom does. <laughs> gotcha. I don't know if my mom does, but, you know, I do sometimes, not on purpose. Every once in a while. Yeah, like, my brother does sometimes. It's just, you know, <laughs> my natural. family my yeah. family takes fat fucking shits. So, um, yeah. one day... I uh, in high school I was I was really sick. Okay. <laughs> like I had a really upset tummy and um we had a baseball game that day. I think it was a baseball tournament if I remember right. So we were playing multiple okay. games and uh the the team we we got dressed before we went to the the city to play baseball. So mm-hmm. You could get off the bus and drop your shit and go out and start warming up. And um, so we were getting ready in our bathroom at our school. And um, for some reason, the lights were off. I guess they just, it was one of those lights that you need a key to turn the switch on or something like that. Okay, I'm unfamiliar with that, but sure. Yeah, yeah, it's just so kids don't fuck with the lights and turn lights off on people. So like the janitor... Oh. Like we'll turn the switch on and then it'll stay on like during games and stuff like that. So um, 
he never flicked a switch on, so we had to get ready in this bathroom in the dark. So, oh. um, uh, uh, a dark okay. bathroom full of middle school or high school kids, I should say. <laughs> Boys, nonetheless, oh, yeah. was fun. So, I just remember yeah. I went in the stall and started shitting my brains out. And I hate okay. using the bathroom in front of other people. I just despise oh, yeah. it. And nobody knew that I was in there. Like, I just sat in there quiet and like, who's just shitting in there? And, <laughs> you know, making me all embarrassed. I didn't say anything. And they had no idea. And it was bad. I It was bad. So, okay. you know, I get my, my u- uniform on and everything. And um I, we go on the bus and i tell the coach i'm like hey coach you know i'm 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 really not feeling good today i'm i'm not feeling good at all like like i, yeah. I can't stand up for too long or i can't run around i you know basically i want to set my shit my my brains out if i do that <laughs> yeah. and uh you know he's like okay well we won't let you play then or anything and i'm like oh thank the lord so mm-hmm. um we go to this this tournament. I'm pretty sure it was a fucking tournament. It might have been because in high school you played two games. For baseball, you'd play one game and you'd take like a half hour break and then you'd play the second game. Um, okay. So all I know is the second game was like the first game I didn't play at all. And then the second game came around and we were at the end of the game. And I think somebody got hurt. And oh no, somebody got hurt. And my coach says, "Burger, I'm gonna have to put you in." <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, "Coach, I'm I'm not feeling good at all, dude. It's not good." He's like, "I know, I know, but you just you just got we got to finish the game up. We were getting our ass kicked, you know." So, oh yeah. yeah. Basically, um, I don't think I I don't think I feel it at all. I just had to go up and hit. So I go up to hit, and um, I just wanted to strike out as fast as fucking possible so <laughs> I could sit down again. But the kid ended up walking me, unfortunately. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So I remember that. I got walked, and I'm like, oh, this is bad. So I go out to first <laughs> base. And I take my uh, my lead off, you know, three four feet off the base, and yeah. the uh, the kid tries to pick me off. You know what that means? I uh, I think so. Where the pitcher throws just... the first base to try to get the runner out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you know that from Super <laughs> Sluggers. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm familiar. So he throws back to first, and I come back, and you know, safe and everything. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, like I got back in time and take my lead off. Get kid throws the fucking ball and strike. I'm like, okay, God, this is taking forever. And throws another ball, and then throws another ball, and then a strike. And I'm like, son of a fucking bitch. And then, then <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm on first. Daddy takes his three shuffle steps. You know, I'm ready. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm I'm ready to go. And that pitcher, all of a sudden, he goes to throw over to first. I look back at first, plant my feet, and I die for that base. And right when I pushed <laughs> off the ground, I shit my pants. Oh, my God. That might be, like, the worst scenario. <laughs> I literally dove, just pushed as hard as I can to get safe. <laughs> and I shit the living hell out of my pants. And my belly no. smacks into the ground. I eat a mouthful of dirt. And I look up at the umpire and he says, safe. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Not a you, good you thing. You took one for the team. Not a good thing at all. No. Now I have to stand out there with shit in my pants. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know. You want to step closer, you know. Uh, I end up going over to second somehow. I don't know if the kid hits me over there or if, you know he got locked too. But I go over to second. I remember I was on second base for a long time, and I remember like shortstop was like scrunching up his nose, like oh, what the fuck is that smell. <laughs> 
And then, you know, uh-huh. I, end up, I end up going over to third base. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm about to score a fucking run with shit in my pants. And then, no, the <laughs> final kid struck out and nothing ended up happening. Oh, my God, it was all for nothing. <laughs> it was literally all for nothing. And Damn. I had to ride the bus back with shit in my pants. And I had to, like, sit no. on the bus <laughs> with the shit just oh. smearing all over my ass cheeks. Oh, my God. And I remember some other kids like, what the fuck is that smell? I'm like, I don't know, dude. It smells like shit. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. No. So um, that is um, my pants shooting story when I was out playing (laughs) baseball. So, oh, my goodness. Yeah. And and, and it it all ended for absolute nothing, too. Nothing, nothing came out of that but a story I can tell on the podcast. So, Damn. Um, yeah. On that warm note, do you have anything that you wanna you wanna add, Bert? Anything you, you gotta tell all our beautiful viewers out there? Oh gosh. Um, in a wrap up sense. Yeah. Wrapping shit up. Gosh, I don't know. I guess uh, you know, <laughs> stay safe, of course. Um, we're up on Spotify. We got all 11 episodes up. I think the, the 12th should, I, I, I'm trying to upload it on the same day. Well, yeah, I'm uploading the Spotify on the same day as the YouTube one comes out. So mm-hmm. yeah, we're still going to be uploading the YouTube. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Oh but yeah. Do us yeah. a favor. And if <laughs> we looked at our fucking stats <laughs> and they were <laughs> impressed, I, I was not impressed. Like at first I thought it was really good, but then Bert's like, that's fucking terrible. <laughs> so um, if you guys could like, watch more than like five seconds of our content that would be greatly appreciated um but if not i mean just hit the sub button <laughs> that looks oh, good yeah. for sponsors and shit like that so you know keep up with that but yeah no oh, guys yeah. we are uh we are all over the place now we don't even know where the fuck we are exactly so we'll probably have a better better list um for you guys there so and we finally got some art Submit it to us. Uh, yeah. We got a couple different people submitting art, so hopefully we'll be able to update that soon. We'll pick a winner here, and uh, we'll shout out who it is and shit like that. So, um, But, yeah, keep, in, keep up the shit. Keep up the subs. Keep up the comments. We love to read what you guys say. And uh, oh, yeah. we really do uh, appreciate all the support that you guys have been sending us. So, again, guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Burton Burger Podcast. And we will see all of you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys. Yeah, see ya.